Content. With the stock market being advertised and promoted Hello. by many companies such as Robinhood, Public, Webull, and many more, there are many questions being asked by those who don't know much about the stock market and just see those ads by watching a random video they clicked on. What's the best investing app? How do I invest? And final question. I'm losing my money! How the fuck do I get out of the red? Today I will be answering that first question. As for the second one, later on I will be having a video on how to invest for beginners. But for the third one, I don't know what to tell you. All I can really say is buy the dip, average down. I suffer with the same exact question and problem. Today I will be comparing two of the top investing apps for beginners, Robinhood and Public. Both of these are great apps and simple to understand. They have a simple interface. That's one of the similarities they have. The second similarities they both have is, is you're able to invest into crypto on both of them too. But now that we have those similarities out of the way, we'll be starting off with my favorite one, Public. Public is an investing app, very simple to use, and it kind of has an interface like Twitter, and it has a social media aspect to it. One of the pros I have that I actually enjoy is that you're able to see once somebody invests into a company, once somebody sells out of a company, how long they were in that company and their gain or loss percentage wise that they had. For me, this is a great tool in the app because you're able to learn off of other people's mistakes and as well get some advice off of other investors and just build a community just like any other social media platform you would have. The only downside to the social media aspect of this app is that you shouldn't invest into a company just because of what other people say about it you should listen to what they have to say about it but also it is your decision you should make your own research and go off of that one other thing i love about public is that they promote long-term investing this is something that robin hood does not do and i will be getting into that a little more once i talk about robin hood but there is a section on this app where it lets you put the stock you're investing into into a different category if you want to do it for a long term. This promotes people to keep their money in. Instead of being scared of losing money and taking it out, they, they're they able to leave it in there and know that over the long term, over the long period of time, it will grow on its own. Now onto the cons of public. As I said before, you're able to listen to people's advice and sometimes that can take a negative turn if you listen to the wrong advice and if you listen to it at the wrong time. Somebody can say that a stock is going to the moon when it has already gone up about 20% and then once you buy into it, it's gonna it'll probably drop down so know when when to invest into it my advice to people is buy the dip invest into a company when it's red because like anything else you would want to buy it's on sale another con to this app is that there is no option trading for those who want to get involved in uh, into option trading that is a little more complicated way to invest but a lot of people do like to get into option trading and unfortunately it is not on the app public but if you are a beginner in investing I do recommend the app public even if you are a beginner I do not recommend option trading until you're a little bit more advanced into investing those are my pros and cons for public I currently use public more than I use Robinhood and if you guys do want to use public I have a referral code down down below in my description so you guys can get a free stock for up to $75 now on to Robinhood so for Robinhood I honestly could not find any more cons than it being a simple interface um Robinhood is very very simple to use Robinhood is very simple to understand Robinhood is a place where a lot of people go for the first time but doesn't mean that it is the best platform to use since there are more platforms that have came out ever since Robinhood has since Robinhood was one of the first apps to come out for investing um, especially commission free I did use Robinhood when I started there's just one problem I have with Robinhood is that Robinhood kind of you can say gambleizes stock trading um, it makes it seem like it's a game it makes it seem like you're at the casino just from seeing the numbers move move so fast just from seeing uh so many charts so many red and greens also every time you make an order there's confetti that pops up <laughs> i heard that can trigger a lot of people to you know want to do it more even though they don't have the money or to just gambleize their money to gamble their money and of course it is not all robin hood's fault but when robin hood has most of the percentage of people that invest especially for the beginners i don't think that is the best thing to do when you have people that ha don't have the money to invest or don't have a lot of money but robin hood does have 
option trading if you are a little bit more advanced and understand what option trading is i personally don't option trade i do want to learn about it but that's something i would get into a little later on in my investing journey honestly i am making this video to promote public because i enjoy public i would rather have people join public than robin hood because a lot of people that go down the path of using robin hood usually don't have a great experience of investing because they are not doing it for the long term they are trying to get easy Easy money fast money and they gambleize it they gambleize their money as for public they promote long-term investing and they promote the right kind of investing they promote entrepreneurship they promote financial freedom and they try to give you a place to have a voice in the investing industry they try to give you a voice to be able to give some great advice be able to help some people out if they are beginners if you guys do want to follow me on public you guys can follow me right here um i don't have the composition feature yet but i will be trying to get it so i can have more of a voice on it but yeah that's those are my takes on these two apps i know it's a little bit short i know it's a little everywhere but i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say what the pros and cons i honestly couldn't find any other pros to robin hood than it having option trading and being very simple i think public has a great thing going on i think it is in its early days and i believe in the future updates it will it will be worth it and it will be better than robin hood wouldn't they but we'll see there are many more investing apps weeble i think is a little bit more complicated i still haven't even used weeble just because of how complicated the interface is acorns still have to use that but i will be making a video on that one day and all the other apps are a little bit more complicated than these two are i think they both are great apps and i think they both are great apps to start off on uh, maybe once you guys learn a little bit more you'd want to move on to weeble or move on to um a little bit more complicated or a little bit more structured app well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understood it. And I hope this helped you make the decision on which app you'd want to use. Personally, I recommend public. I know a lot of people don't really use public, but that's my that's my favorite so far. And I'll keep you guys updated if I change apps, if I if I use another one or if I stick with public. But currently, public is my go-to and it should be yours too so you can see what I'm investing into and so you can share your journey onto financial freedom or just to share your investments with other people. You can your friends can follow you, you can follow famous people, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what investing app you guys are going to be getting or if you guys already have one, which one you guys love to use. And remember to always stay positive and enjoy the vibes. And until next time, peace. Bitch, I'm about my dollars. I'm trying to get some commas. I'm trying to get higher. Can't wait until mañana.